Coach Roberts, Coeur d'Alene Camp, 2015. First off, you've had a bunch of different locations, a lot of stuff going on. Uh, I think you've probably burned about 50,000 calories this week. What would you say it's accurate? Yeah, probably pretty close. Pretty close. You've been working hard, man. You guys have gone. It was just here at Coeur d'Alene High last year. This year, what were the locations you guys did? Uh, so we've been working uh, here during the day. Uh, for five or six hours during the day. And then uh, in the evening, we've had two locations. We were in Post Falls, Idaho for a couple nights. And then we were over in Spokane, Washington um, the last two nights and then again tonight. So West Valley High School? West Valley High School, yeah, in Spokane, not too far from where I grew up. Okay, so when you look at that, you know, doing so many camps, what's the benefit to the kids in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, Post Falls, Idaho? and Spokane, Washington. What's well, the benefit? You know, number one, I just think the exposure to, to, to learning from, you know, some of the guys we got here helping out, um, you know, her, learning high-level wrestling. Um, and the, the guys, you know, they, they don't get to see a lot of college wrestling around here. Um, you know, there's just not a lot of programs here but up in the up in the northwest region. So I think it's good for them to see these guys that are, in college or right out of college and uh, give them something to aspire to, uh, learn from at the same time, and yeah, just get better. Uh, we've been working, they've been working hard with us and, uh, you know, just getting, get working at getting better. Idaho and Washington are, are highly underrated states in my opinion. Uh, I look at some of the all-stars and just, you know, NCAA champions that have come out of, out of Idaho, Washington as well. Do you think that these states don't get the exposure they deserve do you think that these states are underserved? They're obviously underserved in the college division one rank, Washington especially. Yeah, I mean that's a big, that's a big, uh, you know, bother to me, especially growing up in Washington State, um, that they don't have a four-year school opportunity. You know, one junior college in the state, um, and so there's a lot of kids that uh, probably are capable of wrestling at some level in college, uh, but probably never put their shoes on after high school because they don't have a program to go to. And I look at guys like Quake Cooper, Otto Olson, those are guys who had to go to the Big Ten. They went to the Big Ten. They chose yeah. the Big Ten. You know, yeah. those are guys who you guys could have kept here and could have been, you know, obviously very good guys in their home state. Um, and we also talked about it. The greatest upset in NCAA history was done by a guy, a Washington Husky. A Washington Husky, Larry Owings, 1970. When you yeah. look at something like that, it shows that the place has fertile ground for you know guys at the Division One level, guys at the World Championship level, guys who who can wrestle flat out wrestle. Uh, Mangrum, Mangrum's a Washington guy, yeah. and there's just a lot of guys out there. What do you guys? What can be done in the sport of wrestling to improve opportunities in Washington? I think you, you, you got to just keep, have people that are willing to keep pushing. I mean, keep pushing and, and get the message across that. Hey, our our kids need these opportunities. You know, I mean, it wouldn't be acceptable. I don't I don't believe if there was not a uh, um, a softball or a soccer or a basketball or a volleyball program in the state. Uh, schools that are funded in large part by taxpayer dollars. I mean, it's it's just nonsense to me. That they don't have a, a college opportunity. That the that the best and the brightest have to go out of state and pay a lot more money and don't get to compete and pursue uh, you know, their dreams in athletics and academics and with, in front of the people that have watched them and supported them their whole career. You know, coming back here to where your, your wife is actually from, Coeur d'Alene. Yeah. She yeah. went to this high school. She did. And your two brother-in-laws, one brother-in-law is the head coach here. What's it like coming back and getting to be with family here? Oh, it's great. I mean, it's great, you know. I uh, brought my youngest son up and he's been spending time with with my mother-in-law, and uh, he's going to be over with my parents today uh, in Spokane, and so, you know, it's great. Every chance we get to be around family, it's it's a good thing. There's one thing you could say to a kid in the Spokane Valley, in Spokane, Post Falls, you know, uh, out, up north there's kids from Sandpoint. What would you want to say to a kid, you know, when they're when they're looking at these camps, and coming or not coming to camp? You know, I would say well, for these camps in particular. Or uh, any camp, or your camp, these camps in particular. Yeah, I mean, I, you, we're we're gonna work hard to help you get better. I mean, that's the thing. The it's uh, you know, I mean, you can't go to a camp 
um, of that quality for, for the price that we offer it. They're, they just don't exist. Um, and if you want to get better, you know, and make an investment in your own future, um, you know, you need to get to camp and get better. All right, Coach. We've got a session going on. You got anything else for me? Nope. Just appreciate what you guys do, and uh, you're the man. All right. Thanks for the time. We're going to go check this out. Okay.